Okay, so it's reset day and that means we've got a new item from the cache and hurrah, it's not the mastery legs for the fourth week running. In fact, it's something quite useful. But is it as useful as what I've already got equipped? So what I want to do is to sim it to see if it's as good as what I've currently got. Then what I'm going to do as well, this is always useful to do on reset day or maybe even just before reset day, think to yourself, okay, the certain items I am hoping to get on the farm raid ahead. That's what I'm going to save my coins for. That's what I want to get. Might drop off the boss as well and you might be awarded it. So then you start to think to yourself, okay, well, getting different things might change around my set bonuses. It might change around my legendaries. So I should try out a few different sets in SimCraft to see if it works. But, oh, SimCraft's a bit of a pain. So what we're going to do is we're going to use raid bots to quickly and easily do that. And I'm going to show you how you can get a weekly ritual going that will sort of help you determine how you should equip things when you get them in raids or even if you should bid on things at all. So what I'm going to do first of all with the add-on simulation craft, I'm going to type in slash simc to get my profile. This isn't the only way you have to do it but it is by far the quickest way. So on the Raidbots website uh, which is www.raidbots.com you can see I've got a login here, uh, you create yourself a login now, what I'm going to show you, you can do for free, it's no problem at all, but there is um, a level of patronage on it. In fact, there's a link to Patreon down here, and you get a better and faster service the higher your level of patronage, basically. But for what I want to do, I'm going to click on Gear Compare. In this grey box, I'm going to paste the simulation um, profile that I got there, and that shows you the gear I have. So first things first, I just want to check if the new ring is better than the one I've currently got equipped there. So we type in part of the name enough for it to find it. There we go. It is going to be on finger one. It's always worth checking with rings and trinkets. It's 930 item level. Doesn't have a socket. Will have an enchant. 150 haste in my case. So that's all I'm going to do for that bit at the moment except to, of course, just check that I'm happy with the simulation options because we can change some of those, but I'm just going to compare those. I've already set those up in advance. So what we can see here is that my current gear set, including that ring, is slightly better than using this one. You can show here relative difference. You can see quite a small difference there. Anything I would say generally within about 2% is not a massive difference. Uh, and certainly anything within 1% is not even a significant difference. You can have a sneeze during a fight and that'll account for that. So what I'm going to do next, because I want to do a bit of crystal ball gazing, I want to think about items I might get this week and how that might affect, as I say, legendaries and tier set bonuses. So I'm going to put in my profile again. Usually I just delete it and then put it back in uh, just to get it to show up here. So now I'm going to create some gear sets. So the item I'm particularly after um, is the tier 20 legs on 930 item level from Mythic. Of course, I could get better. I might get better than that even from Heroic. Uh, there's the thing with Titanforge, and you could always try a few different ones. But I'm just assuming I would get the baseline version. Now, what that would do to me is that would leave me, because at the moment I have two-piece tier 19, that would leave me without that tier 19 set bonus. So at which point, there's no real point in keeping hold of a 905 item level shoulders when I have a non-tier piece at 935. Which might not be as good stats, but they're not bad. So I'm going to put that in. That's at 935. There's no socket on it. So all I'm doing at this point is just saying... Can I just get rid of my tier 19 two set bonus? Would these two pieces with the item level boost alone mean that the tier 19 two set is not worth it? So then what I'm thinking, I might do another gear set. So I'm just going to click add gear set. And I'm just going to think to myself, well, let's swap the legends about. The other thing you can do here, by the way, is to change the name. If you want to create yourself different names for the sets, you can do. But I'm sort of okay with that. So I'm not going to create different gear set names. So, it's still going to be based around these tier 20 legs. Which, again, just always make sure you put in the correct item level in. 
So we add an item here and we're still going to go with those shoulders which are 935 because as things stand here I've got five part tier 20 where I don't need five part so I'm thinking of changing some legendaries about. So I'm going to go back to that fused coral ring I have just got from the weekly cache but instead of finger one I'm actually going to replace the legendary ring. It's 930 and it has an enchant. So that means I can equip a different legendary. So I'm going to try equipping what is another very strong legendary for my spec. There we go. And it'll have an enchant on it. And that'll be the other one again. Now what I would generally advise here is not put too many sets in. Again, depending on your level of patronage, it might not even really cope with that. We don't want to give it too much stuff to do. Particularly if you're not a patron, if you're just going to do this for free. Because if it times out, then uh, then you're a bit stuck. So here we can see, this is my standard profile. So one of them, just simply putting on those tier 20 legs and putting on the other shoulders isn't going to cut it. That is not going to be good enough to get rid of my tier set bonus. However, doing that and then changing legendaries around is, so you can see here, 0.6% increase. Now still, 0.6% is not significant. Again, anything within 1% is not significant, and anything within 2% is not an obvious thing either. You have to consider this is only based upon a model of a fight. It's a patchwork style fight here, uh, of a set fight length and so on. Uh, in reality, I might have changed that to say light movement. I might have changed the time around and that could change things as well. And it might be that you want to fiddle about with that. But generally speaking, what I would say is, is at this point, it, I'm certainly on the cusp of being able to get rid of my two piece tier 19 set. And this could be one way to do it. But at the same time, if the items drop, if I coin them, great. If I don't coin them and drop off the boss, I wouldn't in all good conscience be saying, oh, I really want those legs because I can quite clearly see here it's not providing a very significant DPS increase, even changing things around. It might be a much bigger DPS increase for someone else. And that is part of the use of this. It's useful to help you see how you need to change things around if you get a particular piece. But also if it drops off a boss and using Master Looter, you can also see to yourself, this is actually a big upgrade for me, I could really do with it, or this is actually not a very big upgrade for me at all, maybe someone else can benefit more than I can. So hopefully that helps you understand how to use this. Again, what you could do if you wanted to do more sets is just note down the numbers here, then create some more sets, keep noting down the numbers, just do a couple at a time so you don't get timed out, and then you can come to an overall conclusion yourself. It should be a weekly ritual to at least be able to quickly sim your weekly cash uh, item to see if it's an upgrade and as I say a bit of future gazing also saves time and allows you to more accurately upgrade your character as well. So I hope you found it interesting if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and share for further content and until next time I'll see you later.